Thank you for tuning in into my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journal, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here. Hey all, welcome to another collaboration. This time for the hashtag you matter. Just to remind us everybody and anyone matters. We are a bunch of 15 YouTube creators in this video hub. Now enjoy my take on that event and then hop to do the next in the row which is Laurie Marie Jenkins. In my video I decided to make some mail art postcards. So I have this leftover, I do cut my own paper so to the specific size I want. So I have always leftovers and this is actually a watercolor paper, sometimes I have mixed media paper, just a little bit of a sturdy paper. If you don't have sturdy paper, you still can glue two together, so just to see. That's what I'm going to use. Uh, this scrap actually gives me three cards, four by six inches. I will have the centimeters in the German, not subtitles, but uptitles. <laughs> I have them up. Anyway, I also have some paints. I have a roller and I have a just for packaging any plastic foils I do keep them because they come in sometimes handy so that's what we're gonna use and I have a roller if you don't have a roller you can use a wet towel or something like that I just wanna smear on some paints and I did use some protecting uh, cream barrier because we're gonna paint with the fingers also just so that you know I do love my neon, but any reds would work. Oops, well, that's certainly enough. And I don't mix brands and types and yeah. So this one is actually an iridescent color. I'm still in, yeah, there's. As I said, that was a neon, and this actually has glitter in it. Now, I'm gonna smear the colors around. I'm gonna dry that with the heat tool, and then I will be back. I'm gonna go in again with some hot pink and some orange. I had a little bit too much red, so I lost those colors a little bit, but I still want them too. I need some round object and a standard pencil and I'm gonna make little circles. Also going off the paper in some areas. So that's what I have so far. Can you see that? Yes, here you can see it. By the way, the glue bottle I have here is about one and a half inch in diameter. Now, I'm going to need a palette, sort of. I do use those lids from the food. I'm just, I'm, I like to reuse things and I just get in some yellows. So I'm going to dip my fingers in color and dab it a little bit off and then I'm going to dot into these circles. And I do have a kitchen towel here on the side. Wipe them off and go into another color. I want to add more layers but I need to dry them in between a little bit so that I don't mix the hues too much. I want them rather 
as they come from the tube. Okay, let's go in with this again. And I do overlap, but I have already the dots I have already there. I think I'm going to go a last time in with this really pale yellow, which probably has a lot of white. So you always can mix your own hues. Okay, again, I'm gonna try that. This time, really, it has to be dry dry for the next step. I'm right. gonna use the, the roller again and some gold paint. Metallic paints is uh, always slightly transparent. That's what we want for here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of gold and roll it all over. And while it is still wet, I take my plastic, count it up a bit, put it over the thingy here, and make creases. I want creases in here. The more, the merrier. And put it really down with the creases. Now that has to dry for about 10 minutes just with the plastic on it. Okay, it is 10 minutes. Kind of hard to see, but you have this structure going on. Okay, it's not dry yet, so I have to use the heat tool again. Okay. Um, you have seen it in the intro that I'm gonna make flowers out of this. So the next step I, is I'm gonna add petals. And there is several ways how you can do it that you can use, but I do like a, um, a simple pencil. But you could also use like a, any permanent marker. That's totally up to you. So I'm gonna draw in, and I know it's kind of hard to see for you because of the glare, but I like the shimmer. So that's what it looks like right now. Now I do have the gesso here. And I'm gonna use that as, as my white paint. So I'm gonna scoop out a little bit on my lid and pick it up from there. I'm gonna zoom it out just a tiny bit so you can see me more of the whole thingy. I do have uh, my water over here and uh, dip it in the water and then wipe off the extra. And now I'm gonna paint outside the petals. Everywhere where I have no petals I'm gonna paint it in so you could also use white or blue or whatever you want. I just feel like gesso right now. So I do the negative painting. That's what this technique is called. And uh, the reason, one of the reasons why I use gesso 
it is matte so it gives me more of a camp contrast to those metallic color I have used here now I am gonna go in a second time just to make it more white I think I did hit every piece okay again I'm gonna dry it with the heat tool okay it is all nice and dry so I'm gonna go in with the pencil again I just want to give a little bit more definition sketchy lines several lines anything that gives us a little bit more the idea of the flower and then you can hardly see it because of the glare that's what it looks like when you go several time overs it is a 5b pencil i wouldn't recommend a hb pencil it has to be a softer lead so that it takes actually a lot of the lead onto the paper Now I do have my paper cutter over there and I'm gonna cut it in pieces now. Now that are my three cards I have, I want to do next uh, some, I want to add a black border around the edges just to tie everything together a little bit. And I'm using a stamping pad, but if you don't have a st stamping pad, you could use instead a permanent marker. Any permanent marker from the office supplies would work. I just do it with the ink pad because it is the quickest way. I do have one of those labelers, you know, where you can print your labels <laughs> and I did print out myself um, thinking of you that's what I'm gonna glue on here if you don't have those labels uh, you could just print it with um, on the computer I mean it doesn't have to be that and I'm gonna frame it also a little bit Now I'm going to send those cards to some of my friends just to let them know that I'm thinking of you and that they matter so. And if you do those cards, keep one for yourself because you matter too. Just an idea. <laughs> I think I'm going to zoom you out again a little bit so you can see a more, little bit more of my mess here. No, just kidding. Okay, and still. Let's see, yeah, that helps. I want you to see it. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to hop over to the next video. Well, that's all about what this is about the video hop. So you have more fun and more things to watch. And the next link for you would be, as I said, in the description down below. And you're going to go visit Lori Marie Jenkins. Till next time, take care.